Welcome to the latest Watercolors Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Rush Studios in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we are talking about one of our favorite fish, the parrot cichlid. Parrot cichlids? No way, guys. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure they're talking about that. Thanks, Mandy! <laughs> We've got Seachem Matrix. Seachem Matrix. Alright, so that's a good surprise topic. Okay, so that was a little bit of a ruse. This is our new version of our surprise topic video. So Mandy helped us out there. We had no idea what product we need to talk about today. Mm -hmm. So here's our take on Seachem Matrix, which is a biological filter medium. Mm -hmm. And kind of a geeky one, so it's a little <laughs> fun to talk about. Perfect. Oh no. I don't know explicitly what Seachem Matrix is made of, but it's super, super porous. Like, even sometimes it doesn't sink right away when you add it to a tank. Um, but the fun thing that I know about it is that it's supposed, it's supposed to be so porous that it actually encourages internal anaerobic areas. So theoretically, it can also grow the types of bacteria that control nitrate as well as nitrite and ammonia. Converting nitrate into mm -hmm. nitrogen gas. That would be the final step of the nitrogen cycle. Yeah, okay. I didn't so, know that about this yeah, product. Yeah, yeah that's why, because it says on the bottle, controls ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. And when I look at this for biological media, I'm like, see, I'm really like, but... Typically, if it's see, I'm saying it, there's science behind it. Yeah, and yeah. you can pull up their website and they will tell you how they do it. Right, right. So a brief, very brief overview of the nitrogen cycle, right? And biological filtration and what that means, okay? So good bacteria, when we talk about cycling a tank, good bacteria establish populations pretty much on every surface in the aquarium. Bacteria we all know we can do the things, right? So if we've got something that's very porous, that means there's a lot more surface area inside of it. You can imagine taking a ball in the surface area of the ball and cutting that in half. Now you have the surface area of the ball, but also the surface area of those two halves of the inside of the ball. Mm -hmm. Punch a bunch of holes in that, and all of those surfaces in each on the outside of all of those holes and inside those holes, that's more surface area. So there's porosity and how it affects surface area for bacteria. A while back we filmed our nitrogen cycle video and uh, part of that video was dedicated to talking about what's the ideal environment for nitrifying bacteria. Mm -hmm. And I remember specifically thinking... <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Good water flow, good oxygen, that grows nitri er, yes, that grows nitrifying bacteria. Those bacteria that convert ammonia into nitrite and nitrite into nitrate. Mm -hmm. And even better, if you have this stuff in like a canister filter that has no light, high flow through it, and has a heater built into it. Yeah. Yes. You've created the ideal up. nitrifying bacteria environment to yes. be at like prime efficiency. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and that's what we like is efficiency. Efficiency makes our life easier. <laughs> Biological filtration, in my opinion, the most important part of the three types of filtration for you. And CCAM Matrix does this really well. So it's it's a great replacement for your biological filter media or an, uh, an addition to the biological filter media that already comes in whatever filter it is that you're Yeah, I would never say that anyone needs to go out and throw away their bio media and change it out for CCAM Matrix. But if you're in a position of being able to choose what media you start with or needing to replace media for whatever reason, which normally you really shouldn't do, this is what I would go for. I think that's a great, a great way to describe it. Another great use for this is in a canister filter. We use a lot of the fluval canister filters, and the larger ones have four different layers of chambers. Mm -hmm. Keep the, the ceramic media that comes with those filters, but then just add some of the CCAM matrix to another one of those chambers. Yeah, never hurts to have more. Right, no. Yeah. Well, there we go. There's our love for CCAM matrix. Yeah, th thanks Mandy for introducing that topic. Yeah. Um, check out our podcast on... Uh, in, no, you, you do that part because I don't remember where all that stuff is. Yeah, be sure to follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube.
YouTube. Make sure to like these videos if you like these videos. And also check out the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery podcast either on our website or wherever else you listen. Um, we might talk about blood parrot cichlids a little bit there. So if you really do want to hear that discussion, <laughs> we can get into that on that. <laughs> Anything else, guys? I was gonna say one other thing. I got a really bad joke. Well, we're always here for bad jokes. <laughs> uh, you know what you call it when uh, someone replaces their bio media? What? Matrix Reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was pretty good. <laughs> well, let us know what products you would like us to talk about. In the meantime, let's have lots of fun. Keep those hands up. Oh. <laughs>